On January 21st, millions of American women took to the streets, protesting the new administration's upcoming policies. Some of these women were seasoned political activists, but many, probably most, were marching for the very first time. And they kept on marching and organizing, giving birth to the new American resistance. As the blitzkrieg of appalling legislation and shocking revelations rains down on us, these women continue to stand strong and speak out against the madness. Who are these women? Where do they find the courage and optimism to stand up against the most powerful political machine on the planet? What are they doing? Is it working? Can we win? I'd like to find that out, wouldn't you? So I decided to get out there and talk to the women of the American resistance. I'm interviewing leaders, behind the scenes workers, lifelong political activists, first time protesters, pussy hat knitters, people with disabilities engaging in online activism. Their stories are inspiring. But more importantly, they are a resource for the creative ideas and practical tools we are all going to need if we're going to fix this mess together. I'll always regret that I didn't march with my sisters on January 21st. I was in Seville, Spain, and our little expat community there didn't have anybody in place to organize a protest. Boy, has that changed. 10 days after the women's march, my friend Sage got in touch to ask if I would be interested in helping her start the American Resistance Sevilla. Boy, was I. We got started and we haven't stopped since. And if you have ever doubted that a small group of American women living in a foreign city can have a powerful effect, think again. For instance, there was the worldwide tax march on April 15th. Everyone was protesting in the streets, but we knew we couldn't march in Seville because it coincided with our massive Holy Week processions. Try competing with that. So we came up with the idea of a virtual tax march, an online protest demanding that the president show his tax returns. To our astonishment and delight, our virtual protests spread all over the globe. And just this week, I learned that Democrats Abroad is relaunching our virtual tax march on a worldwide basis to coincide with the deadline for expats to file their taxes. I hope they have as much fun with it as we did. This is just one small story that illustrates the most important truth I've learned from my work with the resistance. We are not helpless. We are not alone. There are millions of us. We have plenty to say. And thanks to the Women's March and the Global Resistance Movement, the world is listening. This is Karen McCann saying stay tuned because we're just getting started.